Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about telling time or how are we going to read the time. All right. First, let's have the two kinds of clock that we have. The first one is the digital clock. Okay. This is we call the digital clock. Now, as you can see in the digital clock, their numbers are written already. You are just going to read the number. As you can see, there is a 6 and 18. So, how are we going to read it? It is 618. I will repeat. It is 618. 6 means the number of hours. And 18 here on the right side is the number of minutes. All right. And as you can see here in the middle, there is a colon. So the number of hours is separated from the number of minutes using the colon. All right. So I will repeat. The number on the left side is the number of hours and the number that you can see on the right side is the number of minutes okay that is in digital clock the second kind of clock is we called analog clock here in analog clock there are two hands that we are using so that we can read the number of hours and the number of minutes. All right, take a look on this. Okay, there are two hands. The long hand, okay, and the short hand. Now, the long hand tells us the number of minutes, the number of minutes, the long hand, okay? Here, what about the shorthand, teacher? Shorthand here tells the number of hours. Okay? So, if we are going to read the clock, the time is 9 o'clock. Okay? Why o'clock? Every time that you will see the long hand pointing the 12, we will say it or we will say or we will read it as o'clock 9 o'clock all right in this clock or this time all right next how to tell the next of minutes now here okay as you can see there are numbers outside the big circle isn't it Okay, and inside the big num the big circle, you will see the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And outside are the equivalent minutes. Okay, here, look at here. Outside, you will see the 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. Okay, but don't be confused when when you say 60 minutes already, how are we going to write that? That is zero, zero. Okay, o'clock. Once you see the long hand is pointing the 12. Now, let us see. For example, there is an arrow here, a long hand. The long hand is pointing the 1. So, what is the equivalent of 1? It is how many minutes? It's 5 minutes. Okay? When the arrow points the 2, that is 10 minutes. When the arrow points the 3, it's 15 minutes. If it points... The 4, it's 20 minutes. 5, 25 minutes. When, it, when the arrow pointing the 6, 
or the long hand pointing the 6, that means that is 30 minutes. 7 is 35 minutes. 8 is 40 minutes. The 9 is equivalent to 45 minutes. 10 is 50 minutes. And 11 is 55 minutes. Okay? And once again, if the long hand is pointing the 12, that is 60 minutes. So 60 minutes is equivalent to 1 hour. Okay? Alright, so let me see here if you can read the given clock here, the time on the clock, the first clock. What is the time? Look at the shorthand. It is pointing the 2, okay? So it's 2, and the long hand is pointing the 12. So that, what does it mean? It is, how are we going to write? It is zero, zero, right? And how are you going to read when you see, when you see the zero, zero? It means to say it's o'clock. So the time is two o'clock. All right, it's two o'clock. All right, another example is this. Okay, look at the shorthand. First thing that you will see is the shorthand. Because it tells the number of hours. Alright? So, the shorthand is pointing the 9. Alright, so 9. And the long hand is pointing the 12 again. So, it means to say, if we're going to write it down, that means 0, 0. It means o'clock. Alright? So, we will read it as 9 o'clock. 